This lesson will show how to perform operations with mixed numbers using the Desmos scientific calculator. For the first example, we have 4 and 2 fifths plus 1 and 2 thirds. The only way I was able to figure out how to enter a mixed number was to first enter the fraction and then the whole number on the left. So for 4 and 2 fifths, enter 2 divided by 5, left arrow, left arrow, and then the whole number of 4, and now right arrow over to the right side of the mixed number, and then we have plus for 1 and 2 thirds, enter 2 divided by 3, left arrow, left arrow, 1, and then enter. On the right we have the decimal approximation for the sum, but notice how the decimal does tell us the whole number part of the sum is 6. We just need to convert the decimal part to a fraction to determine the fraction part of the mixed number. So now we will click answer, which brings up the previous answer, and then subtract the 6, which just leaves the decimal, which will now convert to a fraction by clicking the circle on the far right, which will convert the decimal to a fraction. Now we know the sum is 6 and 1 15th. Going back to the calculator just for a moment, we could have clicked the convert to fraction button here, which will give us the improper fraction of the sum, but normally when working with mixed numbers, they do want the answer back as a mixed number. Next we have 7 and 4 fifths minus 2 and 2 thirds. For 7 and 4 fifths, enter 4 divided by 5, left arrow, left arrow, 7, right arrow to the right, and then minus. For 2 and 2 thirds, enter 2 divided by 3, left arrow, left arrow, 2, enter. Again, on the right we have the decimal approximation for the difference. The 5 indicates the whole number part of the mixed number is 5. So now we'll click answer, subtract 5, which leaves us with just the decimal part, and now we'll convert the decimal part to a fraction to determine the fraction part of the mixed number. And now we know the difference is 5 and 2 fifteenths. And now let's find a product and a quotient. For the product we have 2 and 2 fifteenths times 4 and 3 eighths. For 2 and 2 fifteenths, we enter 2 divided by 15, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow 2, right arrow to the right, times, for 4 and 3 eighths, we enter 3 divided by 8, left arrow, left arrow, 4, and enter. Looking at the decimal approximation for the product, we know the whole number part of the mixed number is 9. To find the fraction part, we need to convert the decimal part to a fraction. So we'll click answer, minus 9, enter, and then convert the decimal to a fraction, which gives us 1 third, which you may have recognized. The product is 9 and 1 third. Again, if we were able to give the answer as an improper fraction, we could click convert to fraction here, which gives us 28 thirds. But again, normally, when working with mixed numbers, they do want the answer back as a mixed number. So again, we have 9 and 1 third as a mixed number. And for our last example, we have a quotient. We have 6 and 5 6 divided by 2 and 1 third. So we will enter 5 divided by 6, left arrow, left arrow, 6, right arrow to the right, divided by, notice how it gave us a fraction bar, but that's okay because a fraction bar does represent division. For 2 and 1 third, we enter 1 divided by 3, left arrow, left arrow, 2, and enter. And again, looking on the right, we can see the whole number part of the quotient is 2. To find the fraction part of the mixed number, we need to convert the decimal part to a fraction. To do this, we click answer, minus 2, enter, and convert the decimal to a fraction, which is 13 fourteenths. We now know the quotient is 2 and 13 fourteenths. I hope you found this helpful.